Tomorrow night guys, tomorrow night, the Terra Luna Classic burn tax will finally be implemented. That moment that we've all been waiting for, for the last several weeks, several months, if you guys even had a glimpse of a hope in the future of telling a classic when it was falling down from $100 per coin to where it landed. But nonetheless, we've got some exciting times ahead of us and I want to talk about some expectations in this video. Now, these expectations aren't necessarily going to be rooted in math, but they are going to give a little bit of a glimpse of what we can expect moving forward with burn taxes in two different fashions, one if they play out to be bullish, and two, if they play out to be bearish. So let's discuss it if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you click that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us, become a bro. We're here every single day and we're growing our portfolios together. Look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how we're wired to buy stocks and crypto. You got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account any deposit. You guys are getting at least 6 free stocks up to 12 free stocks and $1 crypto trade. You're gonna get $5 in free crypto and then you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange where you can buy. Carolina Classic. You've got Qcoin in the description and not only can you get Turin Classic, they really have a lot of rewards for the more active trader. So if you are an active trader, you can actually earn a lot if you're if just by trading Ontario on Qcoin. So make sure to check that out. Well, we get a lot to discuss in this video. Bullish bearish, yes, just kind of like a, a realistic approach to what we can expect to see going through a couple of different scenarios on the Carolina Classic. Burn tax. Now what do we know so far? Just to kind of get that out of the way so we're all on the same page. Going into this up to this state, we've had some major players when it comes to burn Luke Dow doing very well. I believe they're number 3 Mexi Global. I believe they're number 2 and they've got basically half a billion, I think. Lunatics token taking the cake so far, and in less than 2 months, 2 months, they'd burn 2 billion, 96 million Taruna classic massive numbers that we hope, and no disrespect for the ones that have been burned so far, but we hope that these numbers are absolutely just minuscule in comparison to what this burn tax can, should, and will bring. Now why are we saying it that way? Depending on how the volume goes moving forward, Terra Luna Classic could burn billions, tens of billions, or perhaps millions of Terra Linda Classic based on the 1.2% burn transaction. So why would it be such a wide variety or wide range of talent? Classic being burnt if none of the centralized exchanges jump on board if no spot in margin trading taxes are implemented and burnt? The numbers are going to be smaller. They could even be on low volume days, millions, tens of one million, hundreds of millions of Terralin Classic being burned instead of billions. How do we get to billions? We're going to need extremely high on chain volume and that can absolutely come, even if it's not right around the corner as early as tomorrow. So how do we get there if we can, if we can see massive utility being built on the blockchain that generates on chain transactions? This could absolutely ignite the supply of Truna Classic on fire, get it with the burns, and burn massive amounts, drastically reducing the overall supply. If we don't have massive utility returning to the blockchain anytime soon, we're going to need centralized exchanges to begin burning. And I believe that even as soon as one of them announces that, they're going to be doing so, even if it's not next week, even if it's not next month, if they begin to lose customers based on the fact that they are not burning, they'll take notice and they will make sure that they can retain as many customers as possible. So if they realize they're losing money because they're not burning Terralin a classic, and they begin to implement that, the volume that is being taxed will absolutely go through the roof, guys, Binance Qcoin cracking these platforms are doing tens of one million, if not hundreds of millions of dollars a day in transactional volume. If we tax that at 1.2%, the supply is going to get hit very hard, which is going to be outstanding for Terror and Classic. So let's go through a couple scenarios here to determine whether or not this burn tax is going to be bullish or bearish. 
Now, right off the bat we're most likely gonna have people that are simply buying the rumor and selling the news for Terra Luna Classic. And that means regardless of the numbers tomorrow, regardless of the numbers, you know throughout the rest of the week, there's a chance that they sell off because they are buying the emotion and they're buying the excitement of the burns as opposed to buying the burns themselves. If that happens, we may see a slight pullback. Another reason, if we don't get the major transactional volume taxes in the first couple of days, there's going to be people disappointed. So if we walk away with 10 million, a 100 million, maybe even a billion trillion classic being burnt the first day, first two days, first week, I do believe that people will get disappointed because they're going to say, man, these numbers are too small. If we continue to burn this amount of Terrell and classic, it's going to take 10, 20 to 30 years. I don't even have 10 months. I wanted to be a millionaire in less than 10 months. There's no way I'm waiting 10 years to become a millionaire. They will leave. And then once we rid ourselves of those that aren't willing to hold it, it does become a little bit more stable in price action. We get that less volatility, but we may be at lower prices. So that's the bearishness that we would need to get out of the way in order to lead to the bullishness. Now, if we get the burn tax implemented, let's let's not worry about the exchanges just yet if we get the burn tax implemented and all of a sudden we're burning a billion. 2 billion, 3 billion terrible Luna classic per day. Based on the 1.2% on chain transactions, it is going to be phenomenal guys. People will realize that this is the beginning and as short as 5 to 6, maybe 7 years, the supply of Truna Classic will be basically nothing. We will reach that goal, $100 per coin. $50 per coin. Hey, if we get it down to a 10 billion supply and we reach $5 per coin? That's only a $50 billion market cap. It's not insane to think that we can reach prices $510 per coin relatively quickly after reaching such low supply levels. So when people realize that that's what's going on with Terra Luna Classic, based on 12,345 billion coins a day being burnt, I believe we could see the price skyrocket. Now, I don't know which one. I don't know which scenario is going to take place over the next week or so. That is going to be completely left up to the community. It's going to be completely left up to the amount of volume we see. And of course, we know with increased FOMO and emotion and excitement, we do have increased volume as well, so like. One of the best things that we can do to increase that simply tell somebody share a post on social media. Get the social media engagement up. Click the like button on this video. Share it if you want. Post about it yourself. But the more people that know about the Runa Classic, the better the chances it has of going up. So just some food for thought guys. The burn tax absolutely could be bullish. It could be bearish. We just have to see and then wait for how it plays out. But you guys know, I already want to know what do you think the scenario is going to be. Let me know down in the comments below if you think we're going to rock it or if you think it might take a little bit more time. Of course, if that button right there's still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We're here every single day and we are growing our portfolios. Weather guys get Claybo 83 basically everywhere. You have 6 to 12 free stocks on Weevil, get Terra Luna Classic on Qcoin Free Discord and until the next time hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.